Well, Sarah, it's really a delight to be with you. I know we've known you for, since you've been a very young girl, and, and today I'm happy to have the privilege to sit down and talk with you and have you share with me and with our viewers what the Lord has done and is doing in your life. Yeah, it's been about 20 years since I've been coming to Family Retreat. Um, I think the first time was when I was about four years old and I'm 24 now, so 20 years. Wow, that's a long time. So you were a very little girl then. Yes. And when you came to Family Retreat, tell us as a child what that looked like for you. I remember actually loving being with my family. You know, a lot of times you think you would want to have something for the kids to do, but I loved being able to sit with my family and hear the stories. I, that was my favorite part, was all the stories the speakers would tell about their personal lives and the challenges they went through and how they overcame them and how they grew. So the stories are very much an important part of every single message yes. because it takes the principles and brings them down to practical application. And some of those stories weren't always positive because, as you know, we've, we've shared our failures, but also we've shared victories and, and the two in combination. So now as you've grown older, because you've been to family retreat for many, many, many years, from four years old and you're 24 now, so as a young adult, Let's see family retreat through your eyes. I love being with other young people and other families and just seeing that there's other people out there who want to serve God, who um, want to live for Him in, in their da daily practical life. Mm -hmm. And in this process of growing older, what area did you go to in your education? Where, where are you? I'm a teacher now. Um, I'm um, working in a small Adventist school at our church. And yeah, I've also done teaching overseas as well. So you've done mission service. Yes. And now you're doing mission service in, in your local home community, yes. teaching children. How many children do you have in your class? Five children. It's our very first year. So it's small, but it's kindergarten through sixth grade right now, and we're planning to grow. That's amazing. So you have the potential of having the, the very young ones all the way to a sixth grade mind. Yes. So that can be challenging. Keeps you on your toes. Definitely. It, it's actually, I refer to it as homeschooling, but in a church, a room in the church, because it's basically what I do all day. So all your messages about homeschooling and the way that I grew up, I was homeschooled, has really benefited me now in this um, position that I have. That's great. And, and in that process, okay, you've, you've grown up and you have siblings. Let's tell how many siblings you have and where you are in the pecking order. Sure. So I have two older brothers. I'm the youngest. Um, they are a few years older than me and one of them is doing mission service now as well. Okay, very good. So in the process of coming to family retreats through the years, is there anything that has stuck out to you that has helped you to stay committed to God. What influence has Restoration International or Family Retreats had on your life personally? Sure. Um, I would say that the where I am today is dependent on two things and that would be the influence of my mom and the influence of Restoration International Family Retreats. Um, the two, wow, my mom has She's become my confidant. She's the one that I've learned to go to, um, that I've learned to open my heart to, and she helps me um, in everything that I have problems with. I know I can go to her, and she's there for me. Um, also, her example in her love for the Lord and her love of studying God's Word and wanting to share with others um, has made a huge impact on me. But the way I built that relationship with her was partly because of the influence of Restoration International and. Mm -hmm. The messages you guys talked about, about keeping those lines of communication open between the parents and the children, um, and also seeing other young people who had good relationships with their parents. Um, that, was such, that was huge for me growing up. That's such a blessing, and I know your mother personally, and I know that, you know, that warms her heart to know that as you, her daughter, 24 years old, that you still come and you look for her wisdom and guidance and counsel uh, just to be your friend yes. and hear your heart. It's so rich because that is a very rare thing today. Either the young people think they don't need mom anymore or moms don't think that their kids are interested in hearing their perspective. And there's oftentimes so much strain. So that's truly a blessing that you have that I hope you treasure for a very, for the whole, the rest of your life, however long that may be. Right. 
And so anything specific you would like to share with our listeners? Oh, I love Restoration International Family Retreats. It's something I look, to, look forward to every year. Um, the messages are amazing. They're life-changing. Um, the fellowship with other families and young people who have dedicated their lives to the Lord and are living out their faith. Um, family fun time. I still like family fun time. I'm 24. It's still a highlight of family retreats. So I, I encourage you to come see what it's like and you will go away changed. You won't come away the same. Thank you for sharing. Thank you.